What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue working on the off-road buggy. Um, before we do, I just want to mention I will be working on the camper trailer in the future. I um, haven't forgotten about that. Um, I've got a couple of things planned, but it is almost finished. I do have to finish those stabilizer legs as well because I want to uh, go out on a nice trip in it. I just want to ask you guys, um, what colour should I paint this buggy? I'm thinking maybe a um, camo or something like a military green I've been suggested or even the colour of my 60 series. So let me know down below what you guys reckon and what sort of motor should I put in it? Something like a 250cc or something like that. Um, we are going to be keeping the rear axle. I'm going to try and keep the electric rear axle on it for now and see how it goes. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys reckon. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so um, in the last video, as you would have seen, um, the bulk actually got jammed in the bush in this one. Um, I soaked it for a couple of days and pressed it out at work. So that actually come out all right. Um, I've sandblasted it and greased all the bush up, so it should be good. So I'll press that back in and then we'll start bolting these plates on. Um, what I will do in the future is once, once these are on, I will be putting in a support in between both. So in, it will weld in a support and then taking them off and painting them. But for now, we're just sort of mocking up all the suspension, getting everything working. Um, and then we'll obviously have to build some sort of spacer for the steering shaft. Now I did order shocks as well online, but they have not arrived yet. Um, post is sort of difficult at the moment with all this virus going on. Um, so they're 400 mil. So what I've actually done, instead of moving the top mounts like I was going to, I've just gone from them all the way to the bottom. So these shocks will go straight in. They're off a motorcycle, so they should be pretty good. Um, and they are adjustable, but yeah, they'll be coming next week, so I won't be able to get them on just now. But I'll probably make up some tubes or something and put them in just for now, so it, it does actually sit on its all four wheels. But uh, yeah, we'll jump into it. <music> Alrighty guys, so as you can see they're in place. Um, so as I was talking before, I will be putting a spacer in between them. Um, the plates, I sort of cut a bit wonky, but the holes are perfect, so that, that's pretty good. Now the shocks, the ones that I bought will bolt to here and to the bottom here. So what I'll do for now is just put a 400 millimeter eye to eye um, piece of tube in between, and that'll give us our ride height. All right, so I just made up these tubes. Um, they've just got a 10 mil hole on each end. They're very rough, but they'll do for now. Um, they're just going to bolt in here, so that'll sort of take up um, roughly where we're going to sit once we're lowered down. Um, obviously the shocks will compress more than a bit of tube, but this will give us sort of a rough idea. Um, so I'll take this, these bottom ones out, they can probably go in the bin there, they pretty well had it. Um, and then we'll just be able to bolt the other ones in once they come in the mail. So we'll do that now. <laughs>
come up amazing actually. Um, so obviously those shocks will give us a bit more uh, expansion. Um, obviously it's just rigid at the moment. But I think um, we'll have to flip this steering shaft just underneath and obviously these plates I'll be putting in a spacer later on. But for now they've, they can't really good. Um, so what we're gonna do next, I reckon, is we'll take the back body off and we'll try and get the suspension to sit up about the same height. And then I did actually pick a roof up for it the other day, as some of you guys might have seen on um, Instagram. So we'll try and get that to fit. Um, I don't know if that's gonna take a bit of work, so we'll just see how we go with that. But it does look pretty good on there. I've just sort of sat it on um, just before. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. bolted those bolts at the back um, and I actually had to cut a couple off so I didn't show that but yeah they were pretty damn rusty um, so underneath that was the bracket that goes underneath so that held the seat on um, and so I took that off but I don't know if we'll put that back on that did reinforce the rear end a bit there but anyway the next thing I've undone these shocks so we'll lift it back up um, we have to make a spacer about five inches so I have to do that and this panard bar here um, does need a mount going down so I need to extend this mount down because we will be pushing everything down five inches so we'll start to make that um, and then the body's just going to sit back on top just loosely for now because we will be putting in the engine and I'll probably be wire brushing all the chassis up and um, obviously mounting, mounting some things up in there so we'll tidy all that up but that's for another video so we'll jump into it. Alrighty guys, so we've got that panard bar done down there, so that mounts all in place. So we'll have to put a pinch bolt in the top, but so it doesn't move, but I think that'll be good, or even just weld it. Um, I did have to straighten up that bar, because it was fairly bent in the centre. This thing has been off-road a fair bit. I think someone's um, done a bit of shooting and that in it, and run over some stuff, so it's pretty muddy, but I will have to give it a wash as well. Um, anyway, moving on to these shocks, I oh, will have to get some steel for that, so that might have to wait till next week's video. Um, they, the mounts come down at an angle, so I'll have to come down an angle and then straighten up just because if I do move those shocks they'll end up probably rubbing through on the mount there and um, wearing them out so I don't want to do that but I think the next thing to do is we'll um, put the body back on top just sit it on and then we might see how that roof fits. <laughs> Um, we got a little bit done today, so that front end's all uh, buttoned up pretty much. I'm just got to put those new shocks on, but they'll come next week, so that'll be good. Um, with the rear, I do have to try and figure that out. I'll have to get some um, a bit of flat steel, and we'll make up some new mounts for that. But that's all. Then the rear's done. Um, so suspension is pretty much complete. Um, I do have to fix one of these um, steering rods. Just uh, tap it up a little bit because it has been hit previously in the past. As I said, this thing's uh, been off road a little bit. Um, as you can see in the background, that's the roof I picked up for it. Uh, it's actually for, uh, I think, a 2015 Yamaha. So that actually comes down and bolts to the side here. But on those, their nose cones are a lot um, skinnier and a little bit um, a little bit bigger in that section, so you can bolt to it. And with mine, it actually it comes down and loops around. So I'll have to try and modify that and make that roof suit it. Um, at the back, it should work all right. but. I think um, we'll have to do that in the next video, hopefully. Um, and as I said, I would like to get some sort of tubing, steel tube, and make up some 
a bit, something a bit thicker just in case we've ever rolled this thing or something was to ever happen um, and I think what we'll probably future do is maybe some like some sort of scrub bars and a, a front bull bar possibly um, so let me know down below what you guys would like to see on this thing and definitely drop down your thoughts on what color we should paint this um, I think some sort of uh, maybe army green or something would look cool or even as I said earlier about the 60 um, something to do with that maybe um, same sort of color so yeah stay tuned guys for that thank you guys for all love and support I appreciate it drop your thoughts down below what you reckon we should do next jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube or to pick up some merch to help support the channel if you'd like and um, smash that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything we'll see you in the next one